Appalachian Wireless offers the easy way to pay with Forward Pay. And now it's even easier with unlimited talk text with three gigs for just $44.99. No credit check, no contract, no problem. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. A lot of county offices and facilities closed for Christmas, but it was business as usual here at the Pike County Detention Center. 26-year-old Cody Perkins of Shelbyana, 30-year-old William Leeper of Pikeville, and 34-year-old Walker Ratliff of Raccoon were all arrested over the long Christmas weekend. Perkins was arrested on a warrant for shoplifting and burglary charges Friday evening. At the jail, she was searched, and deputy jailers allegedly found suboxone strips and pills concealed in her bra. On Christmas Eve, Ratliff was arrested on a domestic violence charge. While at the jail in an isolation cell, he was allegedly found on the floor of his cell with a white powdered substance covering his face and clothes. Court documents said a search yielded the discovery of suboxone and 19 pills. On Monday during the course of arrest, William Leeper was injured and was taken to Pikeville Medical Center for treatment. While at the hospital, a CT scan found that Leeper was allegedly hiding a foreign object inside of his body. When it was recovered, the object was found to be a balloon containing tobacco and matches. As a result of the findings in all three incidents, Perkins, Ratliff, and Leeper were all charged with a felony count of promoting contraband in the first degree. Pike County Jailer Freddie Lewis said even with the Christmas holiday, the duties of the staff at the Pike County Detention Center does not slow down. Unfortunately, you know, it was Christmas weekend, uh, but you know, that, that don't matter. I mean, regardless if it's Christmas or somebody's birthday or whatever, I mean, the law's the law. And, you know, we can't allow drugs to be brought into our jail. Lewis also reiterated a statement he's made countless times before, that contraband will not be tolerated at the jail. We've got people locked up here. They're drug addicts. They've got a, they've got a horrible problem. And, you know, their mom and dads are hoping, and grandmas and grandpas are hoping that this will help them. Well, if I allow drugs in my jail, and if my officers don't do their job back in the back, and they let drugs get out through the jail, then, you know, really, you know, I kind of look at it as, why even lock them up? Perkins, Ratliff, and Leeper each face up to five years in prison on the contraband charges. Charges, Lewis said, are certain to continue to be filed. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.